Seven of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. They feel like you are single. You got a lot of options. You are out in these streets, honey. They really do, male and female, regardless if you're a female or a male. Your person feels like you got that. Mm, mm. Is that boozy? Certified. Like, they, <laughs> this is so funny, but I got to tell y'all what's coming out. This is hilarious. They feel like you have tons of options. People like fighting at you. They feel like a lot of people desire you. They, some of y'all may have already slept with this person, but I really feel like for real, like this person, if for this person to know you, you splashing, they definitely have, you get, you gave it to them at least once. Okay. But they feel like you have options. Not all of y'all have had, you know, a sexual encounter with this person. So just apply this where it fits. They feel like you are free. You do whatever you want to do when you get ready to do it here. You're just minding your own business, looking good, you know. And you might be somebody here who doesn't have to dress half naked just to look good. You can put on clothes because she's fully clothed in, clothed in this. Um, She got a little crop top. Okay, so you cute. You know what I'm saying, sis? But... And if you're due, you're showing your arms off. But I feel like you're not doing too much. Like, you're real classy. You know what I'm saying? You 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 can pay your own bills. You don't really don't need anybody for anything. Or that at least that's how this person views you, okay? Mm. They feel like you have a lot of options. You can call a different person on Monday. You can call a different person on Thursday or Friday. That's what I'm seeing here. Hmm. Mm -mm. This is hilarious, y'all. Ooh, somebody was trying to marry you. Somebody trying to marry you. Nine of Pentacles to the to the Ten of Pentacles. I can't show you this Ten of Pentacles because she don't have on any clothes. But there are in this Ten of Pentacles. So this person knows that you're marriage material, basically. Okay, this person wants to get to know who you are. Like, they want to get to know you, who you are on the inside and the outside. Even though I know we're talking about the physical right now. But, like, you're fully clothed in one... In one. <laughs> when you take your clothes off, you look amazing. Okay, is what I'm saying. They really feel like you bring a lot to the table in your marriage material. Dang. This lady has, like, a... She's got on... What is the veil... I think that's the veil that hangs on your top of your head and she's got flowers on um, and there's like somebody washing her. There's two people washing her body. I mean, they feel like you definitely dress up like you clean up real good. You know what I'm saying? So, so y'all might be, I could be talking to somebody here who is, you know, um, no hair. I mean, what is it? No makeup, sweat song hair tied whatever drake says that's when you're the prettiest like that's how this person sees you wow Ooh, they feel like you have people yeah a lot of money and pentacles around you they feel like you have people groveling at your feet like i cannot show you this six of pentacles card just came out we have the seven of cups nine of pentacles ten of pentacles and the six of pentacles and in this six of pentacles this woman has a veil over her face and over her waist over you know over her waist and her area down her cat cat okay whatever y'all want to call it two men are groveling at her feet and she's standing there leaning against the tree like Mm -hmm. <laughs> so funny I have not used this deck in so long I'm telling you this person feels like you have multiple people trying to wipe you up and there goes that ace of wands I'm telling you honey this ace of wands we all know what that is that's a passionate fiery like bomb like you got it like this person feels like you done put up that whip appeal on them or something. This is funny. Ooh, ooh. Bottom of the deck is a six of swords. Who had a threesome? Somebody's thinking about having a threesome. Or somebody here likes to, is, is fantasizing about you. Somebody here may be either fantasizing about this or this is something they, that this person wants to talk to you about or they want to want to or they want to do this i don't know but there's an energy here of like somebody watching these two people do something if y'all into that kinky shit going right on the head that's your business you're grown listen not over here 
and mm -mm. I ain't gonna be able to do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to do it. Show me more, please. Ace of Wands out here, so they feel like you're very stable. You're doing good for yourself. You have a lot of options. You get a lot of attention here. Look at this, Six of Wands. You get a lot of attention because you're sexy. You know what I'm saying? You, you, this person got it bad for you. They feel like you get so much attention here. And you know what's so funny too? Because she is on a horse, which is, you know, pretty norm, normal. But I feel like somebody got some good knees. You know what I'm saying? Because this is somebody on the stallion. This is my big stallion card in this deck. Okay? Like, <laughs> somebody know. Oh, look at this Gemini energy here. <sighs> the magician. This person feels like any and everything that you touch, like, you just have a, some form of charisma. Like, you're just really, you have a lot of energy, too. This person may feel like they can't keep up with you in the bedroom. I'm just going to say that. Because, honey, this person feels like you have strong goddess energy here. They view you as a god or as like a goddess. And, you know, like strong, independent, like anything that you touch. And you could be, I could be talking to somebody here who's very successful and independent. Like I said, you really don't have to rely on anybody for anything. You know, and you definitely don't have to settle, but they do like how you, how you get on top. Look at, there goes that emperor. I'm telling you, look, look at this emperor. Ooh, the emperor look good too. Aries energy. I'm telling you, this emperor is falling underneath this 10 of pentacles. You, it, you could resonate as the, you know, the emperor, if you're the masculine, right? And you're feeling this way about this woman who's in this nine of pentacles energy. Somebody is trying to wipe somebody up here. Like, wow. Show me more. Knight of Wands. This Knight of Wands is falling right underneath this Ace of Wands. And then the Nine of Wands is on the bottom of the deck. I can show you this nine of wands. Look at that. I wonder what this seven of wands is about though. Somebody here is guarded or blocking. For some of y'all, this could be somebody, a player from the past, but they do see you as like this warrior, like very strong, resilient, powerful, goddess energy like you're not taking anybody's shit you know what i mean but they also feel like you have a lot of options and you are fighting people off with a stick because you're so attractive you know or you, that's the energy that is giving i'm telling you somebody is riding this thing like you know what's the name of that song i'm gonna ride like a rodeo uh, is that city girls i don't know i <laughs> somebody feel like you ride it like the rodeo honey that's all i can tell you like you holding on to that thing you holding on to you holding on to somebody's shoulders i don't know or somebody waist or somebody back or whatever <laughs> this is so funny but it's true y'all got me cackling over here y'all got me cackling over here let me see what the Seven of Wands is about real quick, though. Why is the Seven of Wands here? I feel like you don't give it to just anybody. This person may have assumed something about you or they could have been a player and you you were trying to protect yourself and you guarded yourself with this person because I feel like you not are not playing games with anybody. You're not taking anything toxic. You're not accepting anything less than what you deserve. I do feel like there is an emperor here who's in deep regret over you and they feel like you may reject them or you could have already rejected them with this five of cups like they're obviously in some form of regret over something again for some of y'all it could have been their player ways they could have tried to play you out 
be in and out, hot and cold, you know, call you when they want to call you, leave you on red, or call you when they only want one thing for some of y'all, or, you know, because the Knight of Wands is really inconsistent, so maybe when this person did show up, y'all had a good time, and sex was great, but, like, low-key, like, that wasn't enough for you, like, there's more to you than just this. There's, you want more to a connection than just fun. So now this person's over here in this regret. What's this regret about? Hmm. This is a death card in reverse. The death card just came out in reverse. They regret losing you. They don't want this to be over. And they regret not changing their behavior and, and, and showing up in true you know, masculine energy, you know, and, and energy that's not like, you know, mature. Okay. Scorpio energy here also. Clarify this emperor, please. The star card, Aquarius energy. So this, this, this could be, this person could be an Aries. It could be a Gemini. Um, you could be, you could be any of these signs or an, an Aquarius but, or a Scorpio too. So this emperor, show me more here on this emperor. The hangman in reverse. And the justice card, Libra energy, Pisces energy, and Aquarius energy. Bottom of the deck is the two of wands. person knows they could they were supposed to do better when they dealt with you they knew they were supposed to do better if they didn't know i really feel like they knew better then they definitely know better now with this justice card being here it's like somebody was being is being released and cut down from a tree you know because this person is like hanging on this tree or whatever like i said there was a lack of like somebody being able to change and grow make better decisions you know <sighs> With this star card energy, it's like you offered some form of healing. You know, when you exchange energy with people, when you exchange sexual energy with people, that stuff, you, you know, especially that's like a soul tie, you know, and you don't want to be tied up with just anybody, somebody who has dirty energy, you know what I'm saying? They don't have good spiritual hygiene. That is, that's not it, especially not you being in this energy that you're in. No, it's a no. Um, and your love, I feel like, and your sex was healing to this person. So, like, what are they going to do without you now? And they Seven of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. They feel like you are single. You got a lot of options. You are out in these streets, honey. They really do, male or female, regardless if you're female or male. Your person feels like you got that. Mm, mm. Is that boosie? certified like they, this is so funny but i gotta tell y'all what's coming out this is hilarious they feel like you have tons of options people like fighting at you they feel like a lot of people desire you they some of y'all may have already slept with this person but i really feel like for real like this person if for this person to know you you splashing they definitely have you get you gave it to them at least once okay but they feel like you have options not all of y'all have had you know a sexual encounter with this person so just apply this where it fits they feel like you are free you do whatever you want to do when you get ready to do it here you're just minding your own business looking good you know and you might be somebody here who doesn't have to dress half naked just to look good you can put on clothes because she's fully clothed and clothed in this um she got a little crop top Okay, so you cute, you know what I'm saying, sis? But, and if you're dude, you're showing your arms off, but I feel like you're not doing too much. Like, you're real classy. You know what I'm saying? You 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 can pay your own bills. You don't really don't need anybody for anything, or that at least that's how this person views you, okay? Mm. They feel like you have a lot of options. You can call... A different person on Monday. You can call a different person on Thursday or Friday. That's what I'm seeing here. Mm -mm. This is hilarious, y'all. Ooh, somebody was trying to marry you. Somebody trying to marry you. Nine of Pentacles to the to the Ten of Pentacles. 
I can't show you this Ten of Pentacles because she don't have on any clothes. But there are, in this Ten of Pentacles, so this person knows that you're marriage material, basically. Okay, this person wants to get to know who you are. Like, they want to get to know you, who you are on the inside and the outside. Even though I know we're talking about the physical right now. But, like, you're fully clothed in one... In one <laughs> When you take your clothes off, you look amazing, okay, is what I'm saying. They really feel like you bring a lot to the table in your marriage material. Dang, this lady has like a, she's got on, what is the veil? That, I think that's the veil that hangs on your top of your head and she's got flowers on. Um, and there's like somebody washing her. There's two people washing her body. I mean... They feel like you definitely dress up, like you clean up real good. You know what I'm saying? So, so y'all might be, I could be talking to somebody here who is, you know, um, no hair. I mean, what is it? No makeup, sweat song, hair tied, whatever Drake says. That's when you're the prettiest. Like, that's how this person sees you. Wow. Ooh, they feel like you have people. Yeah, a lot of money and pentacles around you. They feel like you have people groveling at your feet. Like, I cannot show you this Six of Pentacles card just came out. We have the Seven of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. And in this Six of Pentacles, this woman has a veil over her face and over her waist, over, you know, over her waist and her area down, her cat, cat, okay, whatever y'all want to call it. Two men are groveling at her feet. And she's standing there leaning against the tree like, mm-hmm, <laughs> so funny. I have not used this deck in so long. I'm telling you, this person feels like you have multiple people trying to wipe you up. And there goes that Ace of Wands. I'm telling you, honey. This Ace of Wands, we all know what that is. That's a passionate, fiery, like, bomb. Like, you got it. Like, this person feels like you done put that whip appeal on them or something. This is funny. Ooh, ooh. Bottom of the deck is a Six of Swords. Who had a threesome? Somebody's thinking about having a threesome. Or somebody here likes the is is fantasizing about you somebody here may be either fantasizing about this or this is something they, that this person wants to talk to you about or they want to want to or they want to do this i don't know but there's an energy here of like somebody watching these two people do something if y'all into that kinky shit going right on the head that's your business you're grown listen I'm not over here and mm -mm. I ain't gonna be able to do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to do it. Show me more, please. Ace of Wands out here. So they feel like you're very stable. You're doing good for yourself. You have a lot of options. You get a lot of attention here. Look at this, Six of Wands. You get a lot of attention because you're sexy. You know what I'm saying? You, you, this person got it bad for you. They feel like you get so much attention here. And you know what's so funny too? Because she is on a horse. Which is, you know, pretty norm normal. But I feel like some 